Tonight's skit is in the genre of scriptural comedy. <laughs> it is titled, Life at the Cartaza Told with Out of Context Bible Verses. <laughs> Although we use scripture taken out of context for comedic effect, please realize that we do not condone this practice, and hopefully this skit will help you see why. <laughs> Tonight's skit uses passages from various translations. We picked the ones that we thought would be funniest in the context. <laughs> from their sleep. <laughs> Come on, on the Psalm 3-5. <laughs> I wake again because the Lord sustains me. <laughs> Come on. Well, it's not my fault, okay? Like Genesis 2-21. <laughs> Genesis 2-21. The Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. <laughs> Proverbs 6 9. <laughs> Proverbs 6 9. How long will you lie there, you sluggard? When will you get up from your sleep? <laughs> come on, come on. Uh, Daniel 8 18. Daniel 8 18. While he was speaking to me, I was in a deep sleep with my face to the ground. <laughs> Do I really have to resort to Acts 12 7? Oh, man, God. <laughs> okay, well, how about 
Job 34, verse 4. <laughs> Let us learn together what is good. Yeah, yeah. Let's learn the good. <laughs> um, Ecclesiastes 12, 12. Of making many books there is no end, and much study wearies the body. Sin like 33, 22. <laughs> Excel in all you do. Since you're a student, excelling in all you do means that you should study in order to excel at being a student. The lair. Well, <laughs> studying doesn't mean that you'll become a good student. What, you think you know everything already? Oh, listen to this, Proverbs 9.9. 9. Instruct the wise, and they will be wiser still. Teach the righteous, they will add to their learning. Well, I just say I'm, I know everything, although in a certain sense I do. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I don't study because Oh, because I had the test from last semester. <laughs> that is appalling. I mean, utilizing tests from former generations of students, that's not studying, that's cheating. Um, no. In the spirit of Job 1330, I think you mean. Same difference. <laughs> Ask the former generation and find found out what their ancestors learned. <laughs> Act four. Well, what should we do this beautiful day, Anvu? We could be like those crazy Americans and jump in the creek. <laughs> I know you're gonna pull off of that one, Joshua three eight. Go and stand in the river. <laughs> Thinking more along the lines of running into town, you know, like Genesis 19:20. Look, here is a town near enough to run to, and it's small. <laughs> That's way too boring. We could do something like pranking. Pranking. It's very on buoy, but at the least scriptural idea you've had all day. Uh, no, no, like in the Bible, there's a whole section about it. Genesis 27. Genesis 27 recounts the story of Jacob, who, with the help of his mother, pranked his father Isaac by impersonating his brother Esau. This prank was carried out with parental approval, and this prankster ended up becoming the ancestor of the Messiah. <laughs> like, if Jacob could become the ancestor of Messiah, like, we could become the Pope, I prank you. <laughs> Revelation 19.8. Fine linen, bright and clean, was given her. <laughs> oh, this cute little moldy strawberry. Oh, it's funny, it's our dolls behind your veils. <laughs> oh, Mary Angela and Sarah will love this. <laughs> oh, gross, what's that? <laughs> Matthew 7.16, you will know them by their fruits. <laughs>